Hi, I'm Ryan McDonald. Uh, for my Game Spotting Live, I wanted to shed a little bit of light on the subject of home theater setups, uh, specifically in, uh, for gaming. Uh, here I am standing in our, our test area where we have our, our system set up. Uh, we have a receiver that does DTS, ProLogic 2, uh, Dolby Digital, and I, I wanted to kind of take the time, since more and more games are coming out, uh, that actually support these uh, super duper audio features to kind of explain to you exactly what it all means. First of all, let's explain the difference between Dolby Digital, ProLogic, ProLogic 2, and DTS. ProLogic basically gives you uh, a front left, a center, uh, and a right front. Those three channels um, basically kind of work like stereo did, except it adds one more point of, of audio source. You also get rear channels with ProLogic. Uh, it's one channel, even though there's two speakers, but it basically kind of mirrors the, the stereo action behind you, so you can get a, a fill of rear audio behind you. ProLogic 2 is what you see in games like SOCOM and even Metroid Prime. Um, the cool thing about ProLogic 2 and why you'll see it more and more in games on um, the PlayStation 2 and GameCube is that um, ProLogic 2 is really easy to do. It's basically almost as good as 5.1 in that it gives you um, you know, the, the front left, the center, the front right, uh, the rear left, and the rear right. So it expands those two channels uh, to, to actually two channels. So from ProLogic to ProLogic 2, you actually get a second channel behind you. So you can actually get the panning action, you know, that you would get from the front to the back. So if you, you spin around in a circle in a game and, you know, you're looking at a character who's speaking to you as you spin around, you'll hear that character's voice rotate basically around the room at, you know, to kind of keep in with where, where he is positioned directionally on the screen. Dolby Digital, uh, you know, the whole 5.1 thing that you hear about in DTS, uh, those actually take it a step further and, and, and go as far as to give you six channels of sound. It's still the five main components, the three front and the two rear, but also, you know, the, the, the point one stands for the subwoofer that, that also gets a, a feed of uh, a signal from the receiver. The two physical differences between Dolby Digital and DTS and ProLogic 2 and ProLogic is that Dolby Digital, as the name implies, is a digital uh, signal. So in order to do that, you need to have an optical cable. The optical cables, you know, you can basically find it at, at Radio Shack, Best Buy, wherever they sell electronic wires and stuff like that. Um, you know, you can get them anywhere from 15 to $30 to on up to actually 60 or 70 I think, at some high-end audio stores. This optical cable gives you the best um, signal possible, at least to date. Um, the neat thing about it is, you know, it's one thing, it's not multiple cables, so and you plug it into the AV pack for the uh, Xbox or right in the back of the PS2, and you're good to go. DTS is, a, you know, the other factor that comes into the digital world. Um, a lot of people get confused between DTS and Dolby Digital. You know, what it is is the difference, what's going on. The, the, you know, basically it's just an alternative. Uh, a lot of DVDs have, you know, actually both on them. Um, a lot of games support one or the other. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City is one of the, the more high-profile games that actually supports DTS. Of course, the GameCube is kind of out um, of the digital domain since it doesn't actually have a port anywhere on it that, that allows you to do any optical cable action. So that's why Metroid Prime and, uh, and other games like that um, support ProLogic 2 because it allows it to have the surround sound effect with you know, the five speakers. You just use the standard um, you know, red and white wires that, are, that come with your GameCube. Uh, basically you run that to your receiver, uh, it automatically decodes it into the five channels and, uh, and splits it up and sends it out. Um, I know it's probably kind of weird, you know, you got two wires, how are you getting five channels out of those two wires? That's part of the magic of the whole um, encoding and decoding of, of, of surround sound setups. And that's why you need a, a digital or, or better yet, a receiver that actually has support for that specific sound mode that you want. Receivers have come down in price greatly. Um, the one that we have here is about $500 or so. And that's where a lot of the uh, mid to high range ones are. You can find receivers that are almost just as good as this one that are basically you know, $200 cheaper. The Kenwood HTB 205 is actually around $300 in some places. Uh, I know Best Buy for a while was offering a rebate, um, so you can get it even cheaper than that. 
Uh, but yeah, Interact accessories, they do a lot of, you know, video game stuff like controllers. They offer uh, a system, uh, complete, you know, home theater in a box uh, for about $150. So once you actually get a receiver and, uh, and you want to hook it up to your systems, another key thing that a lot of people don't realize is you actually have to tell the Xbox and the PS2 that it's time to go optical. You can do both just by going into the, the systems menu. Um, there's an audio option where you just basically tell it, yes, I want to do digital out, yes, I want, you know, DTS on. And even the GameCube with like Metroid Prime, uh, for example, in the menu of Metroid Prime, you actually can go in and select, you know, mono, stereo, or Dolby. As far as what it adds to the experience, for games like SOCOM, um, that are immersive 3D, you know, first-person shooters that actually, you know, have you at the center of the action. It works really well. Um, you know, you're running through the, the, the forest, the jungle, and, and basically there's enemies firing around you. You actually can hear those enemies behind you. So if you're, you know, moving along and you hear somebody fire from, you know, the right rear, you know to spin around and look to your, you know, the right rear of you. So those are basic terms that, you know, you'll need to know and, and the basic things you'll need to know when you're going to go look for a home theater system. Um, you know, the only thing to keep in mind is that not all receivers do DTS, ProLogic 2, and Dolby Digital. You know, most of the time you'll get ProLogic uh, and Dolby Digital. Uh, a lot of them don't include DTS. But if you just look, it'll say exactly what they do support. So I hope you found that fun and informative. And until next time, I'm Ryan McDonald. See you later.